How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video and it seems this drama, at least for now, has come to an end. Now a lot of people believe that this is due to the review bombing, this is due to the negative perception, the complete destroyed reputation of Arrowhead, but honestly this has got nothing to do with that. The reason why Sony caved into this is for two reasons and two reasons only. And as we're going to read this little script here, you'll soon understand why. Number one, they caved in for this because now there's actually a potential for a class action lawsuit where they can be sued because they knowingly sold that product in a country where they basically knew that the game would not be working. So they misled, misguided and deceived 177 countries into buying a product. That's 177 lawsuits that they potentially have on their hands. But more importantly, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that that's undermining. More importantly, this one over here. Now, if you haven't seen this, I'll link it in the description below. I'll also, uh, you know, I've got a couple of videos before this one that actually went through this as well. But essentially, if you are in Ukraine, you can't go to the web version, you know, the web portal and create a PlayStation account. You can only do it through a console. Now, if there's one or two things that you don't want to do in this world right now is basically touch anything that's Ukraine based, right? The situation there is still not good and the West is still, you know, trying to support in every way they can. And, you know, there's a lot of support right now and has been for a long time in support of Ukraine. But this, you know, this is something that you do not want to touch. This was a ticking time bomb that could honestly, quite honestly, ruin sony right forget about arrowhead for a split second who are also involved in this and i still don't understand why the developers are getting a free pass on this but this could actually ruin sony entirely in like complete reputation so they once this came out like i was telling power boss my friend uh yesterday once this came out the decision was but a foregone conclusion it was going to turn now if this didn't come up out into the you know into light and if this wasn't put forward and if this didn't start going viral that ukrainians had to pay up to 500 dollars just to create an account sony probably would have tried to challenge those people that basically essentially um bought the game in different countries uh with the knowledge that PSM was going to be required because it was their day one, right? The actual notice of it was their day one on Steam. But this one right here is why it happened. But if you are enjoying this video, do consider hitting that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date of all content I release. Now let's get on to the actual main article and let's just dissect this to see exactly what it is that they're saying. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6 update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. Now, what does this mean? It essentially means that that whole account linking process is not happening for this game, right? It's no longer happening and you're not going to be required to do it because two things happened, like I said at the start of the video, one, they potentially have a you know a class action lawsuit from 177 countries waiting to be filed against them and sony doesn't really want that right now it's that the bad pr that's going to come from that alone is bad but this one over here is the absolute kicker this one right here now if we just uh get to the actual thing here and if i just maximize this you can see that you know if you're in U ukraine you can't you cannot actually get a PlayStation account through a web portal. It has to be through the console. And you do not want to make their lives any more difficult than it already is. Trying to do that is basically you just washing your social credentials down the drain. But, it, you know, this is the second part here that's really important. We're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. The fact that it's taken this long for them to respond is basically them seeking PR advice, legal advice to see if they can get away with it. And they realized that at this point, 
The 177 lawsuits would have been a problem, but the Ukraine situation? Nah, there's no getting around that, right? Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. So what this is telling you here is that for future plans, what they're going to do is make it known day one that this is going to be a requirement. They're going to make it very clear that this is going to be a requirement. Now, if you don't want this to happen day one, then what you do is you don't pre-order those games, you don't buy those games, you don't touch those games, and you make sure that you speak with your wallet when it comes to this, and that's how you protest it. You don't destroy a game by review bombing it, even though on this occasion, it may have looked like it worked, it really didn't. What actually worked was those 177 lawsuits that was impending and coming towards Sony because they sold the game under false pretenses, false guises, and of course the Ukraine situation. Those two completely and totally eclipsed everything else. Sony would have ridden all that you know, through day and day, and that would never have been a thing for them to contend. This is a you know this is a win for the community regardless of how you want to look at it regardless of how they actually got there at the end of the day the backlash from the community eventually paid off will those negative reviews actually now be reversed that's 200,000 people uh, I, I I sincerely doubt it while this is a victory pirate software says he's the one that actually did this while this is a victory for the players you've left the lasting stain on your brand as a publisher Many people have very little reason to trust Sony going forward before you understand the player base is never the right choice. Of course, every other company does it and gets away with it. So I get what he's saying, but there is thing. Fans and devs won. Maybe next time, listen to devs. Clearly, Arrowhead is in tune with the gamers. Arrowhead knew about this since day one and didn't oppose to it until the shit hit the fan. So I'm sorry, Ethan, but you are you are wrong. They knew about this. Uh, great, can we expect all future games to also not have it? It's going to have it. Imagine if PC players stayed quiet like the fanboys wanted. Kudos to all the PC gamers. Again, Astro, this has nothing to do with... Honestly, the review bombing probably had almost zero to do with this. The one thing that had a lot to do with this is this. This is something you do not want to be, you, you don't want your brand engaged with, right? You don't want your brand doing anything negative to Ukraine right now, because that is brand just, you're destroying your brand essentially. And you know, should have never made it past the meeting room, but here we are, glad someone has some sense over there though. But this is going to come back and you can clearly see that by them saying, we're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. So, you know, for those of you that want trophy support, that will 100% be tied to a PSN account. That's going to be guaranteed. But for future games that are going to come, my understanding from what this is saying here is that they are going to make sure that it's ironclad communicated to everyone with uh, concessions made to those 177 countries that don't have PSN, or they're gonna make double their efforts down and try and get that you know PSN access to as many countries that they can that don't legally ban it, and then uh, make sure that there is no issues going forward. But the fact that they actually sold this game in those countries where PSN is not allowed or people can't get PSN or there's restrictions on PSN means that Sony essentially committed fraud. And so with that, coupled with the whole Ukraine situation, this was a ticking time bomb that no publisher, platform, company wants on their head. So yes, the community won and you know, it's a great day, but watch this space because Sony will be back. Based on that last sentence over there, they're going to come back. And honestly, I don't believe any amount of review bombing is going to change it. They're going to make sure that they come back ironclad next time. I'm hoping they don't. For PC players, you know, hope it doesn't for you guys. But you can clearly see that their intention is still there to incorporate PSN access for all their games going forward. Anyway, that's it. Well done, everyone. That's me. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Main legend.